All right, here, notice this crazy mess I have. Now, what you'll notice here is that both of these terms have x plus two in it. They share that in common. Now, what I can do is that I'm gonna treat this as a quadratic equation. If I say, let x plus two equal to u, notice what this will look like. I'm gonna replace x plus two with the variable u. So, u squared plus 11 u minus 12 equal to zero. Notice that where the u's are is where I had x plus two. And now it looks like a regular quadratic equation. So instead of dealing with this mess, we'll deal, we make our own substitution and we deal with something that we know uh, we can do. So let's see. Uh, times one. Let's see. U, U equal zero. Okay, remember using U's. And let me see. It should be 12, one. Positive, negative. Yeah. Now, remember either U plus 12 is equal to zero or U minus one is equal to zero. So plus 12 equals 0, or u minus 1 equals 0, u is equal to negative 12, and u is equal to 1. Now remember, notice what this is saying. This saying u is equal to negative 12. Now we don't want to know u. We want to know about x. So here I'm going to change back. My u is going to become x plus 2. So x plus 2 equal to negative 12 and x plus 2 is equal to 1. Okay, so I substitute it and then I put it back. Now, I can go ahead and say that x is equal to negative 14 or x is equal to negative 1. Don't forget, you always check your solutions. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to skip that part. And I know that once I substitute back in here, back into my original equation, I do get zero for both of these. So that would mean that negative 14 and negative one are part of your solution. All right, go ahead and pause the video. Try this problem out. I'm gonna show you the answers in three, two, one. All right, here's your solution set. I hope you got it right. All right, last example for today. Now here, I, my middle term is the square root of an x. Now what I want to do here is kind of use what, what I did before. I want to substitute that with a u instead so I can make it look like a quadratic equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my u to be equal to the square root of x. That would mean that this term now looks like this. Two, I'm sorry, plus two. Sorry, plus two u minus three equal to zero. What happens to this term? Well, by saying this, it also implies that if I look, what happens if I square both sides? If I square both sides, doesn't the square root go away? And that means that x is equal to u squared. So instead of x, I have u squared. And now I have a quadratic equation that I know I can work with. So I'm going to go ahead and factor this out. Uh, u, u. I know it's three and one, positive my, and negative. So remember, either this or this is equal to zero. U plus three equals zero, or U minus one equals zero. U equals negative three, U is equal to one. But I don't want U, I need to take this back into my substitution. So this implies that 
the square root of x is equal to negative 3 or the square root of x is equal to 1. Now let's think about what this says. This one's saying that the square root of a number is a negative. Sorry, these are non-real solutions. Okay, here you'll be dealing with imaginary numbers and since it's a non-real solution, this is an extraneous solution and we do not take this. Okay, but this one we can take and don't forget that uh, we need to check these. So, when I put, when I substitute, well, the square root of, uh, of a number equal to 1 has to be 1. So, 1 plus, this would be 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Our solution here is this side. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna put one up and that'll be it for today. All right, uh, go ahead and try this one out. I'm gonna put the answers up in three, two, one. All right, here's your solution set. I hope you got it right.